Ryan Superboy and Kai Bay. Oh, you hi, right? Uh, we are seeing a lot of exchange of names. Oh, man. Okay, that was a good spot. On point nade coming from Mafia Ninja because Superboy is knocked down. Oh, same thing goes oh, for Death! Oh, no. Sam9. This is probably their best stat so far, Red. Um, and now they're getting denied this opportunity, Red. And Faze, Faze is last remaining member too. Maybe just hiding in the shadows. You're waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. And Hora Esports, as we always say, never, never a team to be scoffed at. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, one one member. Okay, this is Ajaya. Now, I like this. I like this. They actually have um, some terrain advantage here. Granted that Ajaya has vision. But at the same mm -hmm. time, I don't know if this is the best spot. Should the circle shrink? Yep, here we go. Um, uh, Hail Esports. Uh, man. Joker is currently knocked down. Okay, so we've got three active members. But it looks like he's gonna get picked up because I see someone popping up a smoke. Okay, here we go. Um, Hora vantage point. It's uh, always oh, great. Oh man. Okay. Dang. I mean, like, a little slow with the trigger there, but hey, don't worry. Hora fans out there, still time, you know, to pick up the teammate. So it is okay. As for the integrity of uh, the vest here, it's a little damaged, I, I can say, perhaps. Or, or Okay, so I'm looking at this guy only. I can't... Okay, Joker, half. Okay, I mean, 50% of health for the uh, helmet, but it's still okay. Man, I can't say the same for Sky only, though. A lot of good equipment there, but uh, the two, level 2 vests, so can't be taking the one too many shots in the body. I am so curious for the last player of the game. Right, so... We gotta be careful, Red. We can't we can't turn a blind eye on this one. So yeah, yeah, having said that, having said that, I don't know if um Aura Esports they want to understand that they're already at a very, very good spot. And mind you, before the before that previous oh. elimination, before Sim 9 disappeared, Red, th this was probably the most stacked top five we've ever seen. Yeah, my, my blood pressure is uh, really going high now, Pete. I mean <laughs> Oh man, I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's pretty intense. Hale, right now, receiving a lot of damage coming from both Hora and Leo. Oh so, man, so this is tight, you know, for the side of uh, Hale. I don't know where this guys are gonna go, but just like what I said, high ground advantage goes to Hora Esports. Number advantage goes to Hora Esports. Can Hora Esports bag the chicken? For the last Minamar. You know, a good good point that you made those factors, Red, but let's not forget Leo is as the vantage point perk right now. They can peek at every single person here, at every single team, and not get punished for it. So I am so curious on how long they're gonna be able to make this last. Right, here we go. Hail Esports, ladies and gentlemen. NC2 trying to recuperate here. Um, this looks like a war movie right now, Red. But and it's oh, not yeah. and it's not on the favor of Hail so far. Oh! And where this was is that? Now. This is tough now, Pika, because the zone uh, favored Leo this time. So man, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. I mean, considering the position, okay, they are in the middle, right? But for Hora, it is not impossible for them to bag the chicken, but man, they have to be careful in every step that they take. I mean, they have to make a series of good decisions just to land the chicken here. But again, they still have the numbers. Uh, you know, it's the same thing with Leo. Complete squad, right? Hail, okay, least chance of getting the chicken dinner, but <laughs> I cannot even say. Like, I, I think every team Every team right here has a fair chance of getting that chicken dinner. I am terrified right now because anything can still happen. I did mention this earlier. I don't know if Leo Esports is gonna get, uh, is gonna have to move after some changes to the circle, but right now it does look like they will be they will be favored by this. Right? Look at that. There's no way there is no way that Hale will cross this road and be unseen. Uh, we did say this before. And as you mentioned, Hora Esports might get pinched here, Red. And that's not going to look really good. Okay, so Tiger, though, this is what I was talking about. It might be a ticking time bomb on the side of Hale Esports. Any mm. second now, they're going to be forced to cross. And Leo Esports will be there to eliminate everybody. Okay, so Hora Esports now decided to uh, give up the high ground. I mean, obviously, so because stage 9 few seconds away for that to happen, right? And uh, they just have to uh, make do of what they got here. 
Um, Black Ninja made the car explode so that he can use this as the cover up against mm -hmm. the Leo. Hail, I mean, it's going to be difficult for them to actually cross up the road. I mean, we've got two teams facing them right now. So it's Leo and uh, Hora Esports that's uh, making sure that they, they will not, you know, escape with their lives here. Yeah, you know what? I, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand by my thing. Right, this is a combustible moment for Hail Esports. They are almost out of it. Yep, they had oh! no choice. I told you, they had no choice. They had to cross the road, oh! ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. And just like that, look at this dipping in the action. Of course, is Leo Esports because why not? However, Liquid paid the price. So that is amazing. CR7 also knew that Leo Esports would be on their tails. Oh man, I mean, in the end zone, end zone will be, you know, Hora and Leo. I'm just waiting for Hail Esports to actually exit the game here, but Tiger is still alive. Okay, again, I spoke too soon. So, now we're down once again to the final two teams. Leo versus Hora. Leo, only left with the players. Oh, oh man, no. another one. Bites the dust. Okay, Hora now already on the move, getting into position. Take the same time, man. Everything will be closed down. Oh my gosh. Right now it's a 2v2. This is too intense. High damage taking out CR7. Last man standing on the side of Hora Esports. Is Sky gonna be able to make it? Oh no. 1v1? Are we seeing a 1v1? Or is this. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's still a 2v2, Red. It's still a 2v2. The numbers oh, game. Oh, never mind. Now it's a 1v1 oh. on the side of Hora Esports. What's gonna happen here? I don't Last know. Last man for both teams. No. Molly, is he oh. about to make it? Is he gonna do it? Malik has a whole bar of help to work with. Now, Ajaya, uh, very little help. There's the nade. Oh, no! Ladies and gentlemen, oh! amidst the odds, Hora Esports on top of it all. Wow, what an ending. <laughs> oh, man. Who is your lucky dog? Answer me down there in chat, guys. <laughs> what did I tell you? Two times that I chose Tora Esports men. Oh man, I'm super happy. I almost had a heart attack, I'm telling you. But I congratulations to Tora Esports men. That was insane. Oh my goodness. The craziest ending I have ever seen thus far, ladies and gentlemen. And yes. You better give these gentlemen your love. Unadulterated, unconditional, unparalleled love. Because that was one of the most amazing endings ever in PUBG Mobile history. <laughs> now do you still uh, believe in the caster's curse? Oh, oh man. Absolutely not, guys. No. You gotta, you gotta praise <laughs> These gentlemen, oh, man. we cannot stress enough how dangerous that situation was for Horror Esports. It was <laughs> such, such a bad spot to begin with, Red, but no, they made it work. Yeah, it was a tough spot. I mean, Leo Esports, honestly, they have a building, right? They have, they, they have cover. Oh man, Hora Esports, what a clutch. Just saying how it was again. Beyond amazing, I'm telling you. Oh man. Okay, so again, Hora Esports, 24 points, right? And uh, coming in at second, it's Leo with 16 points. I mean, still kudos to uh, Leo's performance. I mean, that was insane. Still, Hale with eight. Okay, unfortunately, though, for the side of the Dewa United, anything. But I mean, you have to honestly, guys. That was a great ending for group b preliminary stage right yeah that, that's up there for me like it's one of my most memorable endings ever in pubg mobile history i am not even joking so thank you so much for those moments but yes ladies and gentlemen we are now closing in on who's gonna make it to our playoffs and again it, it goes without saying that the, the, those teams within the 12 to 13 spots they're dangling right now they're they're holding by the chandelier, right? And they're probably gonna swing to victory if if they do make it. Now, it's an off-season tournament, right? But amazingly, we have a high 
prize pool. So again, best org, it goes to Rootless Hack Esports. Okay, overall rankings, ladies and gentlemen, top season tournament, right? Fun of uh, winning the entire tournament to themselves. Um, I mean, 15,000 US dollars prize pool is no joke at all, especially this is just an off season tournament, right? But amazingly, we have a high prize pool. So again, best org, it goes to Rootless Hack Esports. Okay, overall rankings, ladies and gentlemen, FaZe Clan, of course, at the top spot, three point lead up against Falcon's Force, right? Um, Egan I8 landing at third with 143, so pretty close when it comes to gaps there. Alter Ego Eras, boom, Hora Esports, wow, moved three ranks. Well, in one, it was a total of six ranks that they um, actually gathered, right? Um, mm -hmm. All in one day. Pika and right. just two matches. Two Here we go. Matches. <laughs> now I shrieked. Now I had to shriek, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is tricky. Team Secret versus Sim9, both at 85 points. We're gonna have a tiebreaker here for sure. I just don't know the mechanics. I think I think we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with stats here, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, Team Secret and Sim9. Oh man, Red. I, so is it safe to assume that Team Secret's really gonna make it in because of how many eliminations they had? Prod, please stop us from guessing. This is too this is too much for us to handle. But of course, congratulations uh -huh. to Leo Esports, Tribe Aramacy, and Talon. Definitely making it to our top 12. Now! Mm -hmm. Now I wanna see! Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, unfortunately for Sersha, I don't think we're gonna be seeing them for the playoffs. The only team that got uh like an automatic invitation to the playoffs would be the Alter Ego Errors guys, mm -hmm. right? Um, so they kind of again played this one very low key, right? I mean, they're playing without any pressure at all whatsoever. But I can't say the same for Sersha and KSX. I mean, um, they've been, you know. I don't know how else to put it, honestly. I mean, KSX, it was an amazing clutch coming from Faisal during day number one in Irango, the way that he eliminated, obliterated even, right? Um, you know, the boys of Sem9 with the nade. That was, you know, like, uh, on top, honestly. Um, and for the side of um, uh, they were United, the ladies, I know this ladies, did their, this guys are playing on a different level, right? For the girls, they need more XPs. That's all I can say, but fair enough. You know, they, they did well. Kudos to uh, Devil United. You guys, I, I expect to see more from you inside the PUBG mobile competitive team. And you know, again, yeah, you're right. I'm I'm super, I'm super stoked to catch uh, these teams again. I'm not just talking about uh, Devil United. Also, the stalwart ladies, right? That's fun.